Hi guys, it's Ona. Today is Wednesday, February 12th, and I'm going to do a little past life uh, video on Don. Something is coming up on my video. Okay. Um, what I did was, number one, I got a camera, okay? So our quality issues should be under control. Um, I think the resolution is well enough that if I pulled in real close, you could probably see a chin whisker. So we're just going to leave it like this. And I don't want to take any more complaints about the quality because uh, the lighting, it just depends on if it's sunny. It is not sunny in Chicago today. So the light is artificial and yucky. Secondly, I want to thank everybody for your comments. Um, it really means a lot to me. I love your suggestions. I love that you're tapping into your own intuitive side um, and, and letting people know. It's really interesting. If you're new, um, I am a registered nurse. I have a condition, I guess you can call it, called synesthesia. So I hear uh, colors. I can see auras. Um, I have always been very um, intuitive. I've always studied metaphysics. I just really have this um, very odd maybe ability to, to channel messages. Basically what I do is channel messages. I looked into this, uh, maybe doing a past life spread and what um, I do have, you know, permission to go ahead and do this spread. It is tailored to um, President 45. So uh, I'm going to tilt the camera towards the decks and I'll tell you which decks I'm using. Well, I, I did a lot of pre-shuffling um, while I was meditating, and I did get a couple of things um, that I wrote down. And um, one thing was um, I saw, um, well, I'm just going to call him 45, uh, standing in a, um, on top of like a rock um, and telling people to sort of jump off a cliff. Um, he was sort of like a general or he was in the army. He, he had um, his sword on one hand was just telling, giving people directions as if conducting. Okay. And the other one on a flask on his hip. And that would have been uh, why I smelled bitters. And I heard um, addicted to bitters. So that would be an alcohol addiction, right? Um, last night while I was thinking about doing this video, something, I had a weird, um, hypnagogic, uh, state, you know, that, that place just before you fall asleep into a dream state, um, and you sort of let that vision, you sort of kind of run with it. And it was a tattoo, just a plain you know, regular tattoo over 45's left eyebrow that said A-P-R-I-L-R-I-N. So I think that means um, April spring. Okay, so it was just like a small tattoo on his forehead there. So... I don't want to do a whole video around it. I think um, we'll see. We'll see what that says. I did a video a while back on on timing on when he may be out of office, and it was somewhere between the first day of winter and the first eight days of spring. I could have possibly just reopened that file um, when I had this little uh, vignette in my head. I'm going to tilt the camera down. I have giblets next to me. I pulled up a chair. He's got his bow tie on, and he could probably help me pull some cards. Look how cool this is. You guys can see everything. Isn't that neat? I'm going to start with this Past Life Oracle deck. This is uh, Adoring Virtue Past Life Oracles. 
The first card we're going to pull um, as I kind of straighten out my back here and get some of this energy in here. Um, what past life is triggering the situation that you're in? Okay. So what past life is triggering the situation you're in? Knighthood. Okay. I believe I just mentioned that um, I saw him with a sword. I did not see this. Can you see this card? Okay. He didn't have a helmet on in the um, in my vision, but it was that sword energy there, that person. Okay. And then we have, what did you do? Oops. Oh, yeah, persecution and inquisition. That's the top of the deck. I was pulling from the bottom. I want to pull from the top, okay? So uh, persecution, inquisition, knighthood, I think we're putting together a picture of a past life that's influencing this one, right? And we have what was your challenge, um, the arts to be articulate, maybe to be somebody that was part of society um, that people adored or liked. Okay. What lesson did you learn? I get authority figures, so you probably got in some kind of legal trouble. Um, how did you die? Oh, that's cannoli. Male, female. So I'm going to pull two more cards off of that. So how did you die? Maybe your wife stabbed you in the back. Maybe she killed you. Okay. You've got like back to back. And how did you die? That's interesting. And how have you been influenced? Oh, okay. So this is, looks like it's a pain of the mom. Okay. His, his, um, pain in this lifetime is related to what mom did to him in a karmic past life. Did I say this was for entertainment purposes only? It's for entertainment purposes only. Okay. If you don't believe in past lives, then why don't we can call this what soul implant made you so um, have so much pain in this lifetime, okay? So, I get my Da Vinci deck, I get King of Swords for who, uh, what past life is triggering the situation you're in. We have a Knight of Swords, we have a King of Swords, so this would be someone who, somebody who is the authority, who speaks with their mouth, who has the law, Swords represent air signs. He is a Gemini in this life. It looks like we have Gemini, um, or, you know, not Gemini necessarily, but an air sign in the last lifetime, or the lifetime that is influencing this situation. What did you do? So he, we have, oh, wow. Um... Well, there's some irony in this. He was a whistleblower. He was the whistleblower. Wow. Interesting. And your challenge? Karma. This is a karmic challenge. Okay. This is a karmic challenge. When I see no or you know musical instruments, musical notes, I hear the frequency. I do not play a musical instrument, but I know the frequency that represents the chakras in the body, okay? Um, and the wheel of fortune next to it are um, you didn't listen to your to your heart. You didn't listen to yourself. Okay. What lessons did you learn? A burden. 
we've got the Ten of Wands. The lesson you learned from authority figures would be to keep secrets. That keeping secrets may be what has influenced you. Keeping secrets from authority figures is what's influenced how you behave now. How did you die? We've got male, female. We've got five of pentacles. So I'm going to go ahead and say that he died of what I would, if I were to piece these two together, I'd say a broken heart. Okay. We've got the couple, oops, this guy, the couple who is back to back so that um, they're separated, they're disconnected, right? And then we've got being left out. So if I say, how did you die? I'd say you died of a broken heart. And that meaning you never resolved the pain of maybe an unrequited love or um, a broken relationship. And how have you been influenced? King of Pentacles. So... Fear of being um, without. Okay. So this lifetime, I'm going to move the camera up. Sorry about that. <laughs> that bar room reach there. Okay. So if Donnie were in my kitchen office here, I'd be... Um, probably saying that there's um, this implant, this pain comes from the fear of being poor. Okay. And perhaps that was something that mom impregnated in your head was um, the fear of being penniless, the fear of having nothing. Maybe she squandered or um, hoarded, okay? And that's what turned him into this kind of greedy king in this lifetime. I don't think I need to pull any other cards. I think we sort of figured out, it, I mean, based on these cards for entertainment purposes only, that um, his deep wound is stemming from the relationship of the mother um, in the past, in in the during this lifetime where he was um, the authority figure to perhaps take um, take some action towards other people that were um, kind of deadly. That sort of seems that way and become sort of the king and then ended up having to die of a broken heart anyway. Interesting, huh? If you like it, please hit like and subscribe. I'm going to, Joe is sleeping next to me so he might growl, but uh, I got some. I got his little bow tie on today. Okay. Sorry. And um, you all have a great day. And keep it together. Everything's going to be fine. I'm going to put him on the ground because it looks like he was drooling on the, on the table. Stay away from the news if it's too hard to watch. There's a lot going on. Remember this, we're working with somebody who is deeply wounded here. And typically they lash out. So um, I think it's just the beginning of that. Thank you so much. See you on some chats later. This is for entertainment purposes only. Thank you very much.